How's it going everyone? My name is XRK Absolute and today we bring you another Minecraft Pocket Edition video and tutorial that I am updating because I believe my previous video of this tutorial is pretty outdated. So this is the how to install Minecraft Pocket Edition mods tutorial just for you guys and I'm going to be doing a full tutorial. I'm going to be teaching you the types of mods and where to look the mods. Now some of the things right here on my screen is what you need to install mods. You need block launcher, either the pro version or the free version. The pros and cons of the pro in the free version is that the pro version allows you to install um, unlimited amount of mods and use them simultaneously. But the downside to it is that you have to pay for it. If you don't want to do that, you get the block launcher free, which the pros is. It is some sort of like a beta app that you can go on the creators, um, on the app creators uh, Twitter, Soway, and he will uh, give a link every week or two weeks about Block Launcher free, so you can install it and have the up-to-date version of Block Launcher Beta. So if you go into the screen, I mean on the description below, you will find the link of this Block Launcher so you can install it without any problem and just test Block Launcher. Another thing you can use is a file manager. Now this is depending on what you use, what you enjoy. I enjoy using file manager HD. Why? Because it is something that I've been using all the time. And also you need Minecraft Pocket Edition 0.13 or the latest version that you have or is available right now. Um, for a browser, it, it, it depends on what you use. Uh, you can use Google Chrome, I use Dolphin. And let's get straight into the tutorial now when you go into blog launcher you see this a little tool and you want to install them all right away you go into this one but sometimes you think about what is this patch mods in game used to be a type of mod that existed before on 0.11 and before which were basically unlockables you could unlock content I mean you could unlock a mod and or enhance something within the game and not make it restart or crash. So let's say you want to find this mod where they do not exist anymore. You can find them on mod for PE2, but this is an outdated app. And as you guys can see, it says 0.11.1 mods. And these are the .mod mods that are outdated. They do not work anymore or even are made anymore. But basically what they did is, as you guys can see, bigger spider, disable PVP, fast flames, free lava, friendly monster, indestructible tools. These were just small things you could have on Minecraft Pocket Edition and nothing would happen, nothing wrong would happen. It doesn't add new things, it just made it some things like let's say you have um, a stone sword and you, you didn't want it to break it so you had the indestructible tools and it would just make it like if you were on creative where the stone sword will never break. Now, another thing is that if you go in here, there's two different types of JavaScript files you can install. One is the JavaScript, the regular one, and the other one is the JavaScript with a texture pack. The difference is you need to install that texture pack first for the JavaScript with a texture pack or else you will get a crash message. So if I go into import, I already have several mods downloaded. If I go into the stained glass, I will get this crash message because I don't have a texture pack. How do you fix that? You go back, you go into the little tool, you go into launcher options, you will see this menu or, or settings. You go into the texture pack, you enable it, you go into select, make sure you already have your, uh, your texture pack as well as the mod. And uh, you can find it right here. I have the stained glass B texture. Oh, and by the way, every mod that I use right here is going to be on the description so you guys can go ahead and download it or have fun with it. And now, one, one issue, one problem everybody, everybody does is that as soon as they patch the texture pack, they want to go into here, enable mod PE script support. They go in here and they try to enable it. The issue with this is that it is not re the block launcher has not restarted yet. You have to go back, you have to let it restart, reload, refresh, and then go into that little tool and manage mod PE scripts and then you enable it once again go back no issues again you go into my world or whatever world you use 
and you find this. You find this, the get items. You get throw mods allow you to have commands such as get items. So if I do this, uh, get items, just like that, I will get every single item of the stained glass mod. And I have several right here, and as you guys can see, they are super transparent. And I hope they fix it so you can see it a little bit more because I don't really like it. And if you guys want to uninstall the mod, let's say you are already you are done with the mod, you don't want to have it anymore. You exit the game. You have to exit because otherwise you will crash it. You go into the toolbar once again. Manage mod PE scripts. You have two options. Do you want to use it again or do you want to delete it forever? This does not delete it from your downloads or whatever you have it. It just deletes it from lock, block launcher so you don't have it shown there. And then you also need to delete the texture pack. Remove it just like that. Now the simpler mod of the JavaScript is the only JavaScript where you only need to download the JavaScript and no texture which is let's say the tree shopper mod. Now, as you guys can see, it does not provide a crash or anything, it just installs. And if I go back into play, uh, let's create a new world. Let's say you want to destroy something. Let's say with this one, with this with this tool. Oh, and this mod, this uh, the tree shopper does not work correctly. As you guys can see, it destroys this one perfectly. But if you try to do it on the Acacia, it does not work. Why? I have no idea. But that is the tree shopper mod. Let's go back. The last mod that I want to show you, it is not a super common mod. It is. It sometimes appears on several types of mod. One of them was the redstone mod by Byte and a half. That it is not really needed anymore because we already have redstone on 0.13. But you go into Dolphin or whatever browser and these are the three websites you should trust. MCP Hub, MCP Universe, and Minecraft Pocket Edition forums. These three websites provide the best content for Minecraft PE. So let's go into MCP Hub. You will find this website. It is super easy to um, navigate. You will find the mods right here. Featured MCP mods. You can download whatever mod you wish. And let's say Redstone adds repeaters. Oops. Redstone adds repeaters and more. You have this, it shows you a little thumbnail of what the mod is and the downloads, you can download it right here. It sometimes gives you a not flying in a Dropbox link. You can go ahead and download it. I already have it, so I don't really need it. Now, these two websites, the Pocket Power and the Minecraft P, are the two mods that require APK. And if you go into this one, it will say MrArm.io and you download the latest version, which will say Toolbox, and it says APK. You may be thinking, what is an APK? What is that? Don't worry, if you find it on the Minecraft forums or MCP Hub or on a trusted place, you can install it and it will say Block Launcher Add-on. If it says this, then you're good to go. You install it, it, would, it should give you the done right here. You go back and then you will go into block launcher but since I am on 0.13 and the toolbox for Minecraft is compatible for 0.12 and older then it will not work but you can find them just right here by going to the launcher options by going into manage add-ons these are add-ons and as you guys can see there it is block launcher pro I mean Mr. Arm and Mac toolbox and if you guys want to delete it or disable it, you just hold it or tap on it and it will say delete, disable, I'm going to delete it because I don't need it. You can even uninstall it and boom, just like that, easy, easy. So this is basically it on how to install Minecraft Pocket Edition mods. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, several things are new into Minecraft Pocket Edition, but this, are, this is the best uh, explanation or tutorial I can give you on how to install mods and teaching you what a mod is so you don't have to worry about installing it from an untrusted source so let's go into this one real quick to show you what I'm talking about because I forgot but 
as long as you guys are on microforums.net, this is an official website, or MCP Hub, MCP Universe, and going to the mod section, you can find a wide variety of mods up to date to your device version or app version. And as you guys can see right here, Desno365 is a known person. I've done his, I've done uh, mod reviews of his Desno guns and the Porto mod. And he has his own website where he has his own mods. So if you guys want to check his mods out, I'm going to leave links in the description below. This is basically it. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to see more Minecraft videos, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. If we reach 500 likes, I uh, would we'll try to do another tutorial or a special video for you guys. And I will see you next time. Come on.